train Hanu to spin into heel and by spin into heel let me go get my dog watch this I mean by spin into heel this is my dog Tonka if I tell him to heel I want him to spin this way and this way only right Tonka heel like that that's what I want him to do that's what I want Hanu to do watch this again heel Heel. Right like that. It's that simple. If I if I had him do a retrieve, so if I throw this on the ground, I want Tonka to come back into position. Right? Come back into the heel position. Tonka hold. Heel. Sit. Drop. Right like that. One more time. Tonka hold. Heel. Sit. Drop. Right like that. That's what we want Hanu to do. Doesn't matter if it's keys, glasses, or a dummy. He needs to be able to do that. He doesn't go home. He doesn't go home until he learns to do that. So the longer he's here, the less money I make. You understand what I'm saying? That's the deal I make with owners. Is it's not like I, I'm gonna work with your dog for 30 days. It's that I'm gonna work with your dog until your dog is being compliant. It's, it just makes sense. Everything isn't about money. You understand what I'm saying? It's about the dog being compliant and learning how to do something proper. That's it. You know, if, you, if you're working with a dog trainer that can't get the job done in the amount of time and the dog's coming back to you and it's not being compliant, you just wasted your money. If the dog's not going to be compliant for the dog trainer, it's not going to be compliant for you. That's for sure. Okay, so I need to get him to be able to do that. And it's important that he does that because if he goes on a retrieve, Right? He needs to go get the object and bring it back at heel and deliver it to my hand. That's it. And also, he needs to know the correct position. If I say heel and he's, he's over there, the dog should know to come in here and spin into heel. They need to only spin one way. They should spin this way. It's not this way. It's this way. And two of the things that I do to teach this, this is one of them is I'll use the place targets and I'll, I'll just sort of direct the dog into the position on the place target spinning into heel using the leash. Remember your leash is also called a lead. So I'll sort of physically make sure that the dog's going into position and over repetition, they just start doing it. So when I say heel, they're spinning the correct way. So it's sort of like this. Sit. Kind of heel. Here, heel. Sit. Hano, heel. No, heel. Sit. Now, we did this inside. This is new. It's outside. So he's doing just fine. This is not a problem. He's doing great. Sit. Hano, heel. Sit. Good boy. That's good. Good boy. Sit. Hanu, heel. Sit. Hanu, heel. Good boy. That's good. Good boy. Sit. There's a car parking. It's distracting him. Hanu, heel. No, heel. Sit. Okay, so this is this is one of the ways that we do it, and the other way is very similar. And we usually do the box first, 
but you know, I will I will start doing this too. So this is very simple. So let me get rid of the boxes. So the second way that I do it is real easy. It's real direct. You don't even need the boxes. All you have to do is put the dog at sit and stand out in front of the dog and walk towards the dog. Right when you come to the dog, slap your thigh and say heel. It'll teach the dog to turn the proper way. And that's what this is about. It's about teaching the dog to come to heel and turn the proper way. So it looks something like this. Sit. See how he turns? We would repeat this over and over again. Hanu, sit. Hanu, sit. God, people are annoying. Sit. Here, go straight. Go straight, buddy. Sit. Oh, sit. Now, we can also do it in the wall position, and it's very much the same thing. Now, we'll also do it in the wall position. Whoa. Whoa, no. The dog sits when you say, whoa, put your hand under here. Make sure he stands up. Whoa. Here. Notice how he's just jumping into position? He's into it. Whoa. No, whoa. Connor, heel. See the attitude? Whoa. No, whoa. No. No. That's a perfect example of a dog not paying attention. If the dog is sniffing, they're tracking. They are not paying attention to you. Do not let your dog walk around sniffing like that. So we, we got to go back to what we were doing, which is the whoa position. Whoa. You can slide your foot under here. Whoa. Put the dog back into position. Hunter, heel. Whoa. Here. See the attitude? See him sort of jump into position? Whoa. Kind of heel. And we'll repeat all of these things over and over. It's very important that your dog is sitting like this, straight forward. Make sure that the dog is positioned correctly. You can tighten it up as you go, of course. But if the dog's not sitting properly like this, you need to backtrack and work on sit. Sit is the first thing the dog learns, and it's the first thing that the dog generally learns to do him proper. Let's watch this one more time. If the, remember, if, the, if you say, whoa, and the dog is sitting, he's doing it wrong. So make sure the dog's compliant. You can put your hand under there at first, and as, you, as you're putting your hand under there, making him stand up, you can also get the dog used to you sliding your foot in there so that you don't have to bend over. So you just slide your foot in here. No. Whoa. Whoa. On here. See the cute little jump he does? I see this a lot with this dog. This dog has great attitude. It's a working breed. He's going to do awesome. We just started training him. He's picking up on everything great. Hey, if you're a dog person, the video's coming up on this guy. He's going to be awesome. He really is. Hanu, sit. Pull. Pull. No, pull. Drop. Drop. Start doing it real short. This is a vast improvement. He's doing real quick. Drop. Sit. 
Sit. Hold. Hold. No. Hold. Drop. No. Drop. Sit. So you understand that? When he does the retreat, he's going to go get it. He's going to hold it. Spit it to heal the proper way. If I throw it down on the ground, I want Tonka to go get it. And I want him to come back to the heel position. Tonka. Heel. Sit. Drop. Take your time, be thorough. Remember, dog training is a lot of muscle memory. And it's a series of steps to get the dog to do something like a retrieve and do it proper. It isn't about somebody said on YouTube. Do you know anything about this breed of dog just throw a stick? No, I don't know anything about dogs in general, idiot. First of all, don't ever throw sticks to the dog. That'll start the dog chewing and eating wood. That's not a proper retrieving tool. And when you do that with dogs, you'll find them in the backyard just chewing on sticks. Tell your dog not to eat sticks and chew on sticks. You need to use proper retrieving tools. Yes, this is made out of wood, but there's no bark on it. It's clean wood. It's not a stick laying on the ground. Do you see the difference? This is a retrieving tool that's used only when you're working with the dog. These are not allowed in the crate or on the floor of the dog. This is not a chew toy. Here, heel. This awesome dog. He's a lot of fun. Here, heel. Sit. Oh. No, hold. Hold. Drop. No, drop. Sit. Hold. Drop. Now, if they get mouthy like that and are chewing on the object, just tap them underneath the chin. They'll start picking it up that that is not what you want. But he's doing great. Sit. So this will all be tied together at some point. Not now. Not next week, but coming up. This dog will be doing it, it'll be real pretty. Sit. Heel. See, even sort of pops around even at sit. No. Sit. It's a dominant act, don't let the dog do it. Heel. Whoa. No, whoa. Whoa, no, whoa. Hano, heal. Now honestly, my hand is starting to hurt. So you can slap your thigh when you're when you're doing this, teaching this to the dog. You can take the leash and go like that, which I'm gonna have to start doing. My hand is red and it hurts. If your hand isn't hurting, you're not doing it right. The other thing that we'll do to teach the dog to spin in the heel is call the dog to me. And as the dog's coming towards me, I walk and meet the dog. And right when I meet the dog, once again, slap the thigh and say heel. Hanu, here, heel. And then you repeat this over and over again. Whoa. Hanu, here, heel. Good. 
Whoa. Hano here. Ew. Good. Very nice. Good job. Whoa. No, whoa. Here. Deal. Whoa. Sit. If he sits, no big deal. Slide your foot underneath. No, whoa. I know. Here. Come on, buddy. Here. Deal. Good. See the way he's like meeting my leg now? He's meeting the leg and he's turning. He's turning the proper way. Whoa. I know. Heel. Here. Good boy. Fucking Tonka. This dog, this dog is a hyperactive dog. He is. He's hyperactive and persistent. This dog would drive you crazy because I know it drives me crazy at times. I love the guy. But it's like a, a dog that would be appropriate if I was like a professional hunting guy. You know? He wants to work all day, every day, never stops, never stops. Do I need a dog like this? No, not really. I could have done, I would have done well with a dog that was bred to be, you know, just a house dog. Cocker Spaniel. He's good though. I love him. I do. I love Tonka. Just a nut. Tonka, hold. Here. Drop. Sit. Hold. Drop. No, drop. Hold. Drop. No, drop. Hold. Very athletic dog. It's no shit.